Hi everyone, Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com with 2021 Hit Parade Autograph Baseball Sapphire Edition. This looks really nice. So, and it's a random letter break number one. Each box, every box has three autograph baseballs. Could be black leather, could be a crystal ball, hand painted gold, 24K infused. Sounds like some pretty nice stuff. We're going by the first letter of their last name. First letter of their last name. Ernie Banks will go to B. Cal Ripken will go to R. And if we pull an Ichiro, it's going to go to the I spot, which is part of the combo letters right here. All right, let's do it. Big thanks to this group here for making this happen. There, there are the letters right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and letters. Letters. Two and a two. Letters? Letters? Two and a two, four times, four the hard way. One, two, three, and four. We got Bennett down to Bennett. Four the hard way, two and a two, four the letters. One, two, three, and four. After four, we've got M down to E. All right, Bennett with M, Gary with P, Ben with W, Logan with C, Joe with R, Anthony with G, Robert with L, um, Franklin with B, David with K, Matthew with F, Robert with D, David, you got the combo letters, Josh with T, Robert with H, Joel J, Steve Wright with S, Nick L with A, and Bennett with E. We're gonna order these alphabetically by letter. And remember, it's the first letter of their last name. Now, I'm going to pause the video and, um, and allow for a little bit of trading time. We'll also allow people to alleviate some of their letter anxiety. Sometimes people kind of blank on a letter and be like, wait, you know, a letter B is nobody, you know, but there's actually somebody's there. So we're gonna pause the video when we come back. We'll see if there's any trades. We'll alleviate some anxiety, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back. We alleviated some anxiety. I think people feel uh, uh, pretty good about their letters. Right there. Actually, no, description, clear. Oliver, just to make it clear. If we pull an Ichiro, it'll go to the I spot, per the description, even if it's signed Ichiro Suzuki. Just wanna make that clear. All right. Let's pop one of these. So we're doing four boxes of this, and each box will have three autographed baseballs inside. box itself is pretty cool. Got a big hinge on there. If you're local, you can pick up these empty boxes if you want to. All right, let's see. What, what's going on? So we can share your hit. We've got an envelope in here. What's here? What's this? Oh, the envelope has all the, has a couple authenticity cards in there. All right. First one, can you tell by that autograph right there? Let's do uh, let's do some quick rounds of who am I. I'll make that. We got a lot of baseball, so I'll make it pretty easy. I'm a Hall of Famer, won a World Series in 1969, two-time ERA title, um, and I have a career 5,714 strikeouts. That should give it away. Who am I? Yep, first baseball is Nolan Ryan. That's pretty easy. That's awesome. Ooh, got a big Mets logo right there on the side. 
Official baseball, there's all the authenticity stickers. That goes to letter R. That's going to be for Joe P with Nolan Ryan. I don't know if this applies to any of these. No, it doesn't. All right. Middle baseball. Middle baseball is Crystal. I'm a three-time All-Star, 11-time Gold Glove shortstop. Um, played for Seattle early in my career, but most of you know me as a Cleveland Indian. Who am I? 11-time Gold Glove winning shortstop, Venezuelan. Played from 1989 all the way through 2012, 24-year career. I mean, 38, 39 years old, still won gold gloves with the Giants. How crazy is that? Yep, Omar Vizquel. Letter V, David Farley with the V combo letter. Wow. I'm not sure if we see his autograph here. Can I pop this open? Ooh, there it is. I guess the crystal is going to have a little issue with the autograph. You can see that it's not really connected right there, which is unfortunate. But it's a cool look. And I think, I want to say that they put infield dirt in here. I don't know if it's hard to see right there, but in the middle, that there's that chamber in the middle. It's infield dirt. So let's try to protect that autograph as much as possible. All right, Omar Vizquel, letter V, David, with the letter V. All right, last one is a uh, black baseball, gold ink auto. Um, One-time All-Star Gold Glove Award winner, 2009 World Series champion played for one team the Yankees my entire career 14 year career still currently on the Yankees I have 138 home runs lifetime 256 um, and I was a bit of a base dealer at, at one time in 2011 I had 49 stolen bases I led the league with 49 stolen bases Yankees outfielder lefty outfielder 38 years old now I think uh, I was known for, uh, I think maybe last year, I got really frustrated with the ump, had a bat and started banging it up against the top of the dugout, if you remember that. Yep, Ben and Frank's got it, Brett Gardner. I think one of those games might, might, have, might have been the might have been why a uh, manager was saying, my guys are savages in the box. There's the JSA right there. All right. There's box number one. Next box. These are, these are sort of lightning round who am I's. Got a lot of baseballs to go through. Hall of Famer, an MVP award winner, eight-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger. I won the MVP with the Red Sox in 1978, where I had 46 home runs, 139 RBIs, and a 315 batting average. Wow. The year before that, I was fourth in MVP voting. The year after that, fifth in MVP voting. My rookie year, I was third in MVP voting and finished second in Rookie of the Year awards. It's pretty good. Lifetime 298 batting average, 382 home runs, 1,400 RBIs, and played for the Red Sox my entire career. Not Fred Lynn, the other guy. The other, the other righty. 
lefty, left field outfielder, left fielder, designated hitter, right-handed batter. Two-time silver slugger. Even as late as 1986, I finished third in MVP voting. That was one, two, three, maybe that was a few years before I hung him up. Yep, there you go, Eric. Jim Rice. That's Joe P. These are all black baseballs, gold ink. Nice, the JSA sticker right there. I'm sure this envelope has, has all the related cards too. I don't know why there's four things in here with only three. All right, anyway, we'll get those to the right place. Next up, who am I? I was a one-time All-Star and an All-Star MVP. Played for eight seasons with a lifetime 250 average, 141 home runs, 415 RBIs. Played for one, two, three teams my entire career. My best season was probably 1989, where I uh, hit 256, had 32 home runs, 105 RBIs, 26 stolen bases, was an all-star, my only all-star that year uh, of my career. That was my only all-star year and finished 10th in MVP voting. Who am I? That's, there you go, Oliver. It's Bo Jackson. I also played a little football too <laughs> for, the, for the Raiders. Went to Auburn as well. Yep, Bo Jackson. Nice, that's pretty cool. There's the Beckett card right there. Joel Redman, letter J. Right, who am I? I'm assuming that's that player. Bo Jackson, greatest athlete, I mean, just in terms of pure athleticism. Yeah, he's up there. That's for sure. All right, who am I? I am a uh, 20 year old baseball player, right handed baseball player. I signed with the, with the Mariners at 16 years old as an international free agent in 2017 for almost a $2 million signing bonus. I'm supposed to be pretty good. Played in the Arizona Fall League at 18, the youngest player in the Arizona Fall League, and batted 288, slash 288, 397, 365, and was named the Arizona Fall League Rising Star. In 2021, I started to play with the Everett Aqua Sox, and then after a few months, I, w I then went to AA Arkansas, and then I played in the All-Star Futures game. And as of August 2021, I'm the number one Mariners prospect and the number two Major League Baseball top 100 prospect. There you go, Oliver nailing them. Julio Rodriguez. There's the Beckett sticker right there. There's his autograph right there. Julio Rodriguez. That's another letter R for Joe P. Joseph Petrilli. Nice, letter R doing well for Joe. All right, six more baseballs to go. Oh, we got a, we got a, painted baseball in there. And there's more uh, authenticity cards over there. All right, more lightning round, who am I? Another retired player here, played from 1976 to 1990, 1976 through 93. Played for three teams my entire career, but played for this team for 15 seasons, my first 15 seasons of my baseball career. I won two MVPs, one of the few back-to-back -back MVP winners in the NL in the early 80s. 
Who am I? Two MVP, seven-time All-Star, five-time Gold Glover, four-time Silver Slugger. Had a, had a lifetime 265 batting average, 398 home runs, and 1,266 RBIs, 161 stolen bases. I feel like I feel like he was a borderline Hall of Famer. If I think if his later years were a little bit better, if his earlier years were a little bit stronger, and if the later years were a little bit stronger, I feel like he would have gotten there. If he hit like some milestones. He only had, he had 2,000 hits. If he had like 400 home runs, 450 maybe, 1,500 RBIs. If he had a couple hundred stolen bases, maybe that, that average was a little bit higher. But still, won two MVPs back to back. Yep, Eric Jennings got it. Dale Murphy. Also considered one of the, the nicest guys in baseball. There's David Adams authenticity sticker. There's Dale Murphy. There you go. Highlighting his uh, with the MVP inscriptions right there. M for Murphy, Bennett Page, Last Spot Mojo. All right, the middle baseball. Looks like there's um, some hand painting on there. All right, active baseball player. Shortstop, third baseman, switch hitting shortstop. Throws right, though, from the Dominican Republic, only 20 years old. I, my nickname, Patron, is my nickname. This year, hitting 285, seven home runs, 36 RBIs, a couple stolen bases. Has 70 hits in 62 games. And I, I am pretty good. I'm the, also, tri some people may not know this trivia, um, the nephew of Eric Ibar and Willie Ibar. If you remember the Ibars, family from back in the day. Yep, there you go. Frank McKenzie's got it. Wander Franco. Nice. So there's his autograph there. And we've got like a little picture going on here. We've got some, some art. It's a one of one. There's the artist. Shout out to the artist, can't really read his name, Jeff Herziak, I think. That's awesome. Wow, that's really cool. They got the Beckett Authenticity sticker right there as well. That's really cool. Wander Franco F, Matthew Hedges with F, Franco. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, and the one on the far right. We've had this player already, but a different style of baseball here. Um, Let's see, can I give you different information here? You know what? I'm a Hall of Famer, but I've never won a Cy Young. I'm an eight-time All-Star, 1969 World Series winner. I don't know if I had too much to do with that. Two-time ERA title winner, but I've never had a Cy Young. Finished eighth, second, third, third, fourth, Ninth, fifth, and fifth. That's crazy. And over, you know, 5,700 strikeouts helps, but yeah, Nolan Ryan. That's another one for Joe P. This one is a black baseball gold ink. Yeah, I guess the 5,700 strikeouts and seven no hitters helps. I thought he had knocked out at least one Cy Young. That's wild. Correct. He also has 2,795 walks as well. All right, nice. All right, and the final one. Folks, we've got another four boxes of this in the store if you want to run this back. These are a lot of fun. And we can play some lightning rounds of Who Am I? these 
this too early here. All right. We've got an active baseball player. Who am I? Uh, active baseball player, first baseman, righty, 6'3", 245, 26 years old, turning 27 in December. Uh, won Rookie of the Year a few years ago when I had 53 home runs. Currently, I have uh, 34 home runs this season, hitting 261. Not a bad season for him. Pretty solid. With a 3-7 war this year. I'm having a pretty good year. 136 hits, 34 home runs this season, 88 RBIs, a few stolen bases. Nickname, the Polar, yeah, there we go. Steve Birch, Eric Jennings has got it. Pete Alonzo. Letter A, Nicholas, Nick L with A. Gets the Pete Alonzo. There's the MLB hologram sticker. And the Fanatic sticker right there as well. I like the black baseball with the gold ink. That looks pretty sharp. All right, Nick L with the letter A. We've had this guy already. We'll show it again. Another Omar Vizquel crystal baseball with the uh, with a piece of the infield. That's infield dirt in the middle. There's the infield dirt here. Pretty awesome. I, I have no idea how much a box of this is. If you go to the website, we've got another four box break up. And it's a uh, 18 spot break. So take the cost of the, the spots, multiply by eight, then divide by four, and then you get a per box cost. I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, my guess is that the checklist is, is it's kind of small for higher end stuff like this. All right, and the last one. And I think this is another active player, a youngster right here, only 22 years old, turning 23 next May. I play for the Yankees, a starting pitcher for the Yankees. I've made a couple starts this season, but I don't think I'm... made a, made a handful of starts last year too. But I don't think I'm really cracking the organization. I think I'm in the minors right now. Yeah, I think he's still marinating a little bit. But uh, he's a Yankees righty. We've seen his stuff a lot. Dominican Republic. And I think he'll... I think he's still eligible with a, uh, for, a, uh, for rookie status. If he doesn't pitch anymore this season, he should be able to. I think he's still under the innings limit. So yeah, he's not even an official rookie yet. Not Severino, not Loisaga. Yep, Steve Birch, you got it. It's Davey Garcia. Gold ink autograph, up and coming Yankees prospect with the JSA sticker right here. Nice, pretty nice, letter G. That's for Anthony with G. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This was a lot of fun. That was Hit Parade Baseball, Sapphire Edition, random letter break number one. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for playing with us. We've got another four boxes in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to check it out. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.